Hey everybody, today we're going to change the oil for my wife's truck. Uh, the biggest stuff you're going to need is obviously the oil drip pan for it. Um, you're going to need a socket wrench uh, with the appropriate socket with it. This truck uses 17. You're also going to need an oil filter wrench to uh, get it out, put the new one in. Of course, an oil filter. And I also going to show you how to change for this truck, change the uh, engine air filter and also the cabin filter. And let's go ahead and get started on this project. The list of all the stuff that you are going to need is going to be in the description. So let's get this started so I can do more important things. Alrighty, the first thing you're going to want to do is loosen the cap for the oil. So this fine in your vehicle, hers is right there. So I'll just go ahead and loosen it. And that will help the oil flow out of the engine. If you drop it in the engine compartment, after you go reach down there and grab it, make sure you clean it off good because you don't want any dirt or debris to get where the oil goes. So, that looks good. Now that it's off, let's go to the next step. Hey everybody, so we're underneath my wife's truck and right here is the plug for the oil, for the drainage. So you need to grab your little thing, just kind of line it up to where, you know, it's kind of even with this because once you loosen this and take out the bolt, it's going, you know, squirt down that way. So you don't want it directly, the center directly underneath it, otherwise oil is going to go everywhere. So kind of good, kind of lean it up like that. And then with mine, some of them you might have to look and find, figure out the best way to find it. My ashtray says engine oil right here pointing at the bolt. Uh, but not all of them are like that. And you don't want to do the wrong bolt because you could end up be messing with the transmission fluid one. And you don't want to do that. So make sure you loosen and take out the right one. So I'm going to take my 17 millimeter, And of course, depending on the vehicle, it might be a little bit different this loosen it there we go oh there it goes but you see it shoots way at the corner and this may a mess Always a mess when you first let it go, but that's why you need rags and all that stuff and clean it up. It's pretty much done. All I could take a little dabber finger, kind of put some oil around the threads of the bolt before I put it back. Around the washer and stuff. Helps with the seal. And then, what you need to do is just slide it back. Then you don't want it super tight. You don't want to rip the threads or anything like that. So just do a little quarter turn. And it's in there. Hand tight, then quarter turn. That's it.
step is going to be changing the oil filter. Now this is the passenger front tire and so for this Honda truck it's right there pretty much above the tire. So I'm going to try this uh, new tool that I got. Uh, I know I kind of got it loose and everything with my um, with another tool. Um, so this one I'm going to give it a shot. See if I in there grab it. Oh wow, this is uh, actually much easier than uh, what I was using before. All right, got it loose. All right. So, my wife got the filter for it. Here it is right here. Now, before you put this in, it's good to take some of the oil. Well, I mean... Get it from the dip pan because there's crud and stuff on there. Don't do that. Take your finger in the dip pan. <laughs> All right. And what you need to do, kind of put it around the seal. Get that oil up. It will help it get a good seal. Um, and then also what I like to do too, go ahead and get the um, in there. But the big thing is make sure you put oil on the seal all right then try to do this on camera go ahead and start lining it up go ahead and get it snug and of course like anything else you don't need to go overboard with it if I can get the grip on it and that should be good so that's not going anywhere and of course because you have oil going everywhere with this piece because this damn bar in the way you know make sure you wipe everything clean get up here Get the wife going to talk about later how there's oil on the floor. She's going to be concerned. So try to get as much as humanly possible so that you don't drip in your garage and think you put something in wrong when you did it. Okay. Alright. Oh, by the way. So, what I was talking about before, how it's listed. Let me turn this camera record. You can see you got the arrow pointing to it that say <laughs> engine oil. So you don't need to get confused for the transmission there, which is pretty cool. But unfortunately, not all vehicles are like that. And, um, kind of wish I did it from this angle the whole time because you got the view of this and that. But, hey, whatever. Live and learn. All right, the next step is to put the oil in. So this truck takes full synthetic. Um, honestly, you put the oil in the same place where you took the little thing out. Get that in place there. Cool. So this truck takes six quarts. Um, a synthetic oil. I am going to put five quarts in first and see where we're at. See if we need to add any more, all that stuff, because like anything, there's always going to be left over in there. Let it settle for a sec. Check and see where it's at. It 
look like I'm going to need to put just a little bit more oil in there. in here and you don't want to do too much but you don't want to do too little either Actually, that looks like, that looks perfect. Do it one more try. Yep. That's good. Right where it should be. That was a good thing. Of course, you take this out. Put this piece back. Don't drop in the engine compartment like I did when I took it off because the cameras were in the way. That's the snug. That's in there. And I didn't show it, but I took the cover off of this uh, just because it's easier to me get to this when I put oil in there. Sure, why not? And it's always a good idea after like 10,000 miles and everything, go ahead and change the engine filter and uh, the engine air filter. So to do that, you got these little clips right here for this truck. You unclip it. Then just pull this up. Take this filthy one out. Take the new one. Take the new one, put it in there the right way, and then this, it's hard to do this with the camera, but there's little slots right here, put it in the slots, move it down, click, click, done. Now we're going to change the cabin air filter, which you know, keeps bad particles and everything um, you know for the air you breathe and also help extend the life of your air conditioning alright so to do this truck because sometimes they can be tricky to find this is the glove apartment box you got that you pinch these sides in and it drops so this is where the filter is at you got these two little hinges right here push them in and then you can pull it out it'll work with me and then here you go so we're going to take this out make sure you got the air fill so the airflow goes arrow goes down then take this Oop, there. make sure the airflow is going down in in Then you just reverse the process. Go ahead and slide that in. Push that forward. Put that the end of the way. In. Yep. Then move this up. Whoop. Push those in. Bam. Go for apartment boxes back in place. That is it. So after you're done with the oil change, it's important to go ahead and start it. And just let it run just for a second make sure that there's no screwing leak everywhere and everything looks good <laughs>